fact, I'm moving out. So I am going to live in a student apartment in the city where I go to university, which is a very cute historical town in the Netherlands called Leiden. It has beautiful historical architecture. Lots of canals. And bikes. Bikes everywhere. And that's where I'm going to live. On my own. Not really. I have housemates and such, but it feels like I'm on my own. <laughs> the room that I'm going to live in is only 15 square meters, so I really wanted to put in as much effort as possible to make it a very nice homey room that I could feel at home at. So the first thing that I wanted to do was just paint everything white because the walls and the plinths had this very odd color that I didn't like so I just wanted to make everything white because that will make it look bigger and also cleaner. One of the things that I loved about this room is that it had a chimney. It obviously didn't work anymore and I couldn't use it, but it still looked really nice so I wanted to do something special to it. I wanted to paint it a different color. I ended up choosing a kind of bluish grey tone called Cull. On the wall we put this wooden wallpaper that I still had left from home, so that would give even more focus on the chimney. Then it was time for furnituring. Most of the stuff I bought was from Ikea, I really love Ikea and they have great and cheap stuff. How I saved a lot of space was by putting bookshelves against the wall and then placing my table against that. You could also put your bed in front of there, but that way you're saving a lot of wall space. I'm also a big fan of plants, so I mostly just want to use a lot of plants as decoration, both fake ones and real ones. I hope I can keep them alive. I cannot guarantee anything. One of my favorite things about the room is that it has so many windows, but of course you need to hang curtains in front of them and I decided to put curtains all up from the ceiling down because long curtains kind of brings the eye up and that's also a way to make your room look bigger when it's actually quite small. 
And this is the final result of the room. I am incredibly happy with it. I can't wait to live there, but I'm also pretty nervous because it's gonna be quite an odd experience to not live with my parents anymore. But I'm very excited and I might do some vlogs about living on your own at university. I don't know if anyone's interested in that, but if you are, let me know. Obviously, I still have to add like a lot of my personal stuff and things and it's probably gonna get a lot messier over the time. Um, but so far, I'm very happy with it. And I think it's very much possible if you are a student that has a very small room, <laughs> it's very possible to just make it into a nice space for yourself if you put a little attention to the details. Also plans. Plans always work. Give this video a like if you liked it and then maybe I will do a room tour when I've kind of lived in that space for a while and I'm happy to show it to everyone else. And I will see you soon in another video. Goodbye!